This video basically explains our first postpartum visit to the, to the hospital, that's the local clinic. After two weeks of giving birth, that was referred by the hospital where I gave birth. It includes both the pediatrics and the gynecologist appointment. So here now, we are waiting to get a, a number using the letter that the hospital gave to us for the appointment and then after which um just giving the lady the letter the referral letter after which we'll now move over to the desk the rest where um our data has been printed into the system for us to see the doctors both for the baby and me myself that's a gynecologist uh, now baby is already seeing the doctor the pediatrics doctor that would examine him uh, the doctor is asking if it's our first visit to the clinic and i was like yes it's our first visit so he was like okay um then he was like um i should just remove the baby's clothing so that he can check his weight and other necessary things like the head circumference the way um the height check the breathing and check if his um some of his body parts like the hands and the legs can stretch well and then after uh -huh, and then when like for people now that are intent coming to brazil and you're watching this video be aware that when you're coming for this postpartum visit you come with all the results of the tests that you did at the hospital where you gave birth because these doctors both the pediatrics and the gynecologists are going to go through it and also impute all the doctors or all the results into the system okay so the they would check that results contains mostly the um, i think the blood group genotype uh there are some tests that they used to do for to be sure that the baby can hear that and even to check if his um what's it called his legs can walk very well yeah they do it in the hospital there so the doctor will go through it and then this book that he's with now the book that the hospital will give you this is where they'll be imputing all his data for the next 12 months put his vaccinations okay everything will be imputed in that book for the next 12 months and then this visit to so this pediatric visit will keep on going on for the next 12 months for the baby every month every month he's entitled to one visit for the next 12 months just like how it was for me during my pregnancy i was having gynecologist appointments every month once every month for the night um, until my ninth month that's the third trimester ended or until i gave birth to her so that's just it and basically that's just everything uh, for the pediatrics they just have to check his body and make sure that he's okay he's feeding well and everything uh, they will give you some medication which is basically vitamins for the baby after which i had to move over to the gynecologist um office meet the meet my gynecologist he will ask some he asked some questions to know if i'm feeling any pain since i was discharged and i was telling that i was having some mild headache thing so he was also trying to find out if the blood flow has decreased or it's heavy uh -huh. and then if there are any other pains and then he will also educate you on the things that you're not supposed to be doing for the meantime and the things that you can do you understand uh -huh. and i was also trying to tell him that i was having waist pain mostly from my waist down to my legs so he was like okay he will put all these things in the system and he will give you some he will give me some medications as well and he will also have to ask you if you need pet control medications if yes you need he will write the ones that you need for you or the ones you the one you want in particular he will write he will prescribe it for you and then 
you take it off from the pharmacy as well so that's just it and the made all the medications that will be written for be and the medications written for baby were mostly vitamins and some creams that be used before he can wear his um distant pampas and the rest uh -huh. and then um, medications like parastamine in case there is fever and how he can take it and then uh what again what again what again i think that's basically the medications that are prescribed for baby yeah and then the medications that were prescribed for me included some blood capsules that i wasn't supposed to be taking for the next 90 days and then some pain relief medications as well so and then uh my <laughs> my doctor decided to tease me by asking me hope i'll be getting ready for next pregnancy i was like yo i guess i better go just leave me i don't know so i now moved over to the pharmacy to get all those medications that were prescribed both for baby and for me okay so that's just basically everything about this first postpartum visit to the clinic so that's just it now if i feel i need more visits for myself i can easily come back but for baby is compulsory you'll be coming once every month for the next 12 months